Hello, uh, welcome to this class, this quite quick class on the feet up um, tool that we can use in yoga. Now, I love this tool because it really helps me when I'm feeling tight and blocked. You know, you get through the, those times when you feel really heavy in your practice um, to really open up. It's like you've got this um, support from something that will enable you to open up more. It allows your breath to be more calm because it takes away the fear, especially when we're doing the inversions. So it's really a good prop um, to advance your practice or to help you through those times when you just can't find the motivation to get on your mat. Okay, so we're gonna start with a nice heart opener. So come and sit your sit bones close to um, the padded side of the feet up app. Depending on your openness, you might want to be a little bit further away with your sit bones, okay? So for the moment, we're just gonna start with a quick um, meditation to calm the breath and relax the body. When you have the nice calm breath, this allows the nervous system to open up the body, okay? So just closing the eyes, sit with a nice straight spine. A few big exhales out of the mouth. Allow yourself to settle in. And if you know the ujjayi breath or you like using the ujjayi breath, we can use the ujjayi breath now. So we just slightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat. When we breathe in, we breathe in from the pelvic floor. We fill the stomach, lift the diaphragm, fill up the rib cage, fill up all the way to the lungs. When we exhale, we send the breath back down. Okay, you might be able to hear a slight sound, but not too strong. You can place the tongue at the roof of the mouth. And if you do have any fear around inversions, this could be the time where you give yourself a little pep talk. You are capable. There's nothing to fear. With practice, everything becomes easier. Inhale, sweep the hands to the sky as your gaze follows the hands all the way up. Place the hands in Kali Mudra, so we cross the thumbs. We make a pistol with the first two fingers and we cross the rest. Inhale, reach out through the fingertips, lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel into spine. Exhale, allow the arms to travel back. So if you are now supported with this cushion of the feet up, on the middle back, so just where the bra strap is usually, you can allow the chest to open. So keep lifting the pelvic floor and pulling the navel into spine and feeling this stretch along the abdomen. And as you exhale, you can allow yourself to surrender into it. As you inhale, rise up, bring the navel up first, then the chest, and then the head and the neck is the last. Place the hands onto the knees, close the eyes, maybe make chin mudra or hands flat, however you like. And just take a moment to feel and integrate all that heart opening energy. Maybe do an exhale out of the mouth. If it feels like it's all building up inside, and try and return back to this calm, fluid, ujjayi breath. Try and make the inhale and the exhale of equal length. And slowly open the eyes as we come 
to face the other way now. Okay, so as we're going to take this into the shoulders, bring the knees in line with the hips. Walk the hands along the feet up so that they come to either side. And then you can maybe rest the forehead here on the feet up. Okay, so firstly lift the pelvic floor, squeeze the navel into the spine. And then exhale, you can let the shoulders sink down. So keep breathing here. The breath is the key to opening the body. Calming the mind. So keep lifting out of the lower back, lifting the pelvic floor, navel pulled into spine. And inhale, push into the arms as you round your way up. Okay. I'm going to turn my feet up around now. I bring my hands just to under where the cushion are, tuck the toes, and come into a downward dog. So really feeling, maybe bending the knees for the moment to stretch out through the sacrum, sacrum reaching high to the sky. Lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel into spine, reach the sacrum high, feel the stretch on the hamstrings, maybe lift the toes if the heels are down. And then start to walk your way. So your feet come to the base of the feet up. So with the hands on the feet up now, or maybe onto the cushion, depending on your flexibility in the hamstrings. Inhale and reach the head forward as we do this half lift. So the heels and sit bones are in line, the kneecaps are lifted, quadriceps are firm. Find your half lift with a nice long straight spine, the chest reaching forward, shoulders back, navel pulled into spine. And then exhale, bring the hands around. Relax. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on to the feet up, chest coming forward, shoulders moving back. Exhale, lift the right leg, place the right heel onto the little bar. Hold on to the seat up and take the sit bones back, taking a hamstring stretch. You can lift up the toes on the left leg and bow over this front right leg. Inhale, come to standing, swap the feet. Try and bring some conscious awareness as you make these changes in the movements. Inhale, raise the spine, shoulders back. Exhale, sinking forward. Inhale, halfway lift, both feet to the ground, shoulders back, navel pulled into spine. And exhale, next exhale, forward, forward. And Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale now, we're gonna bring our head between the hull. Take hold of the feet up with the thumbs on the inside and the hands gripping on underneath. So the back of the neck rests on to 
this nice cushion and the elbows are going up to the sky. So if you can see like my wrists and elbows are in line now. Now what we want to do in a headstand is get the sit bones in line with the shoulders, okay? So really should look to the ground, then lift one leg up and the heel sit bones. So slowly, with control, keep all the prana, the energy, the strength going to the tiptoes as well. You can flex the feet, you can point the toes, but be aware that the toes are working too. As we push into the hands, lift the legs high to the sky, reach out through the toes. So here, lift the pelvic floor, draw the navel into the spine. This is engaging the Mula Bandha, the Udhyanda Bandha. We reach out through the toes and we just bring the right leg down towards the ground and keep the left leg reaching high and then draw it back up to the sky. Just reach out through the toes, exhale and bring the left foot down to the ground and inhale, draw it back up to the sky and the right and up. And the left. So remember, the toes, the whole legs are active. The pelvic floor is lifted. The navel is pulled into the spine. We're reaching out. We're strong. And then both feet towards the sky now. Reach out through the toes. Now feel into the big toes. You take one breath, pull the big toe into the pelvic floor. Next breath, pull the second toe in towards the pelvic floor. So you're pulling in all the way up the legs and in towards the pelvic floor. And the third toe in towards the pelvic floor. And the fourth toe in towards the pelvic floor. And the fifth toe, the pinky toe, in towards the pelvic floor. Excellent. Bend into the knees now and bring the heels towards the sit bones. Start to move the hips back in space. If you push the chest forward, you can look forward slightly as well. We take it into a hollow back. So you feel the chest moving forward, the hips Moving back, keep drawing the heels in towards the sit bones. And then lengthen the left leg, the right leg up to the sky. Bend the right heel down towards the head and then straighten the left leg up towards the sky. So keep pulling in these right toes towards the head and maybe you move your head back in space a little bit now as well. And then we bend into both legs and we swap. So now the left toes are pointing in towards the back of the head and the right toes are pointing high to the sky. We're strong through the legs. You might be starting to feel a little bit of cramp in the hamstring here and we swap again. So it's kind of like we're walking through air. And then return both legs to the sky. We'll do one more pike press, reach out through the toes, pull the navel into spine, Lift the pelvic floor as you exhale, bring the toes all the way to the sky, to the ground, both toes. Exhale, lifting both feet up to the sky. Inhale, drawing the feet back down to the ground till the toes come to touch the ground, start to flex them before you. Inhale, push into the hands, lift the chest, halfway lift. Exhale, draws the hands to the back of the feet up and relax into the shoulders, take a shoulder stretch. Open the knees out to the side, come onto the sit bones. Relax the neck. Inhale. 
Inhale, lifting up, draw the knees together, bring the back onto the mat, open the hands up to the sky, let the knees fall out to the side and again we'll finish in a Shavasana with butterfly legs. So closing the eyes, allowing the breath to return to its normal rhythm. and enjoying your moment of peace. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'll see you next time.